if you look at some of the figures that companies like Google are coming out with, which says, you know, existing AI tools could reduce carbon emissions by 5 to 10 percent by 2030, like global carbon emissions, that would make a huge difference. And that would fully outweigh at the moment, I think, the amount of energy that AI is using. How big is the demand for energy that AI has? We've got a lot of indications that it's it's pretty stonking massive. Just data centres alone take up about 2% of energy demand. And AI historically hasn't been much of that. But it's going to be almost all of the growth. And there's quite a lot of growth. We're looking at sort of somewhere between a doubling or a tripling of uh, data centre energy demand just due to AI alone over the next four years, according to one estimate from Goldman Sachs. Ronnie Chatterjee of OpenAI said that AI tools could help improve the environment and improve the efficiency of many of the world's energy systems. What's your response to those sorts of claims? I mean, it absolutely is true that AI applications are going to be very, very useful for a lot of the problems that we see in climate mitigation. So, for example, you've got things like Kraken, which is the software arm of Octopus Energy, which is one of the big energy providers in the UK. And that uses AI to shift when devices that are connected to it are consuming energy from sort of peak periods to fallow periods, uh, which means that you're not putting too much strain on the grid. And that has let them reduce their emissions by over 16 million tonnes of carbon dioxide across... Which is not nothing. Which is not nothing. (laughs) 